I raced for 20 years. Got hurt a little bit, never missed a race, but was always getting physicals done, taking care of yourself. And at the end of 2019, I went to the doctor. He said, look what I found. You've got a small area there that's renal cell carcinoma. This is uh, the night of Bobby's Hall of Fame induction ceremony. In 2021, one of my doctors sent me to get us another scan and it had tripled in size. At that point in time, it was like, okay, lump in the throat. Because you know it's there, but that's not hurting me at this point in time, but we gotta do something about it. You know, Bobby came to us uh, initially through a phone call, and it was uh, because of our expertise with dealing with kidney tumors or growths on the kidney in a multidisciplinary fashion. And, and of course, uh, given that he's young and healthy and has hopefully a, a long life expectancy, figuring out what to do with this mass is, is very, very important. Once a kidney mass is detected, uh, we first evaluate a combination of both tumor-related factors, so what is the size of the tumor, where is the location of the tumor, as well as patient-related factors such as past medical history and other comorbid issues that may come into play. For small kidney masses, uh, these treatment options typically entail either the use of simply just active surveillance, or we talk about surgical techniques, uh, either removal of just the mass and not the kidney, uh, termed partial nephrectomy, or removal of the whole kidney, referred to as a radical nephrectomy. We were in the pre-op area, and you know, everything, everyone's in there and getting Bobby ready, and I'm in there with him, and we're talking about anything else <laughs> at that time. And Dr. Alaf walks in with a big smile on his face and says, this is gonna be a great day. Yeah. This is the day we get this behind you. Yeah. And I think you could feel the tension in the room just gone. He made it so easy for us to understand it. And we believed in him and we knew what he said was gonna take place. So I had no, I had no second thoughts, none at all. Bobby chose robotic assisted partial nephrectomy, which is taking the tumor out, saving the majority of the kidney, and doing it with new robotic technology that's minimally invasive, so avoiding big incisions. And usually a procedure like that is associated with maybe an hour and a half of surgery, one night in the hospital, and a recovery of you know a couple of weeks or so. And luckily, uh, you know, we had caught it in time, and uh, he came to us and, and did exceedingly well. I'm incredibly proud of the team we have here. Everyone is well-versed on this disease. We're indistinguishable from each other in terms of uh, expertise. And, and I think if someone were to come here and see any of our team members, they would get a superlative experience. When he called and said, you know, it was cancer. Of course, the key word was was. So we're, we're like, I got it all. I feel great about it but it was aggressive and we, you know, we're glad that we got it. You know, meeting Bobby was uh, a big treat. He's um, a big personality, uh, someone who I'd label as a cool cat, had a great attitude, which is probably the secret to success in car racing. And you know, I learned a lot from his amazing attitude about how a champion you know, handles adversity and Bobby was a big lesson for me, you know, just positive vibes all around. Getting back to normal life for Bobby and for us means he'll race 20 or more times in a race car this year. So being six months out from the procedure and being back in a race car, you know, almost like nothing ever happened, is pretty remarkable. We could have gotten back in the race car in three months, to be mm -hmm. honest, because in, in about two and a half months, we were on the ski slopes. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> it was, it who, was a- Who won? A, who won? That's another story. <laughs> <laughs> We're not competitive at all. 